It's GED question of the daytime, and we've got a pretty typical um, GED style problem. So let's take a look here. A square has a perimeter of 58 yards. What is the side length of the square? So actually off the top of my head, guys, I can think of two different ways to do this problem. And they're both really great ways. There's nothing wrong with either one of them. And so I'm actually gonna solve this problem two ways, but I won't do them both in the same video. So this, in this video, we're gonna solve this guy arithmetically. We're kinda, kinda do just some problem solving. Next video, we'll do it algebraically. So if you're curious how to do it using the formula sheet, you'll see it's really um, the same basic idea. Uh, just how we write about it is a little different, but check out the next video if you're curious about that. So let's look at this. Okay, a square has a perimeter of 58 yards. So uh, I think first thing I'll do to try to solve this ish problem and just figure out what's going on arithmetically is to draw my shape, a square. Now, it's hard because usually I would go ahead and label the things I know, but actually the thing that I know here is a little tricky to label because what I know here is the perimeter. It's a perimeter of 58 yards. Now, what does perimeter mean? Perimeter means the distance around the entire outside of the shape. So as I go completely around this shape, I'm gonna travel 58 yards. And notice what they asked me to find here. They asked me to find the side length of the square. So they just wanna know how long is one of these pieces. And this really tricks students, like how am I supposed to get from four pieces to one piece? And the key here is in knowing this. Do you know this about a square? Do you know that a square has four equal sides? If you realize that a square has four equal sides, this is a rather simple problem to do because we actually have a mathematical operation that will take a total all the way around to the total here and break it into equal pieces. Do you know what mathematical operation that is? Yeah, division. Division takes a total and breaks it into equal size pieces. So I can take that total 58 yards around the, all the way around the outside, and I can divide it into four equal pieces, and I will know how long each one of those pieces is. So let's check it out. If I take 58 and I divide by four, I'm gonna find out that each one of these pieces are 14.5 yards. It's 14.5 yards here, 14.5 yards here, 14.5 yards here, and 14.5 yards here. So, what is the side length of the square? Well, it's 14.5 yards. And don't uh, round unless you're told to. This is a nice decimal here, a nice terminating decimal. It just ended. It's a perfectly acceptable answer. It is okay to have pieces and parts of yards. So we have 14.5 yards is the side length. Great if you have any questions about this, um, be sure and drop them in the comments.